This is the 2022 Hyundai Stargazer. This is the first ever seven-seater MPV of Hyundai. If you're new to the channel, my name is Ju. Please do smash the subscribe button and like this video for more. We will discuss the exterior, the interior, the features, and what I think of this vehicle overall. In our channel, we say, Hijak. I think it is a baby Staria and I like it because Staria might not be everyone's cup of tea because it is not priced for everyone. I'm sure the pricing will be somewhat affordable for people who are in this market for a 7-seater MPV. I really like the name Stargazer. Just like its headlight design here, it's glittery here like star and this LED light bar here that is also found in the Staria it just slaps other models in its class just look at this futuristic design that will be timeless for a long time and I really like what Hyundai is doing in their design cues this is the lighting setup LEDs here also on the other side LED here and the rest are halogen this area has open air space for you to feed air to the engine and this area under has a plastic skid plate and this silver gray design and black plastic all over now for this silver metallic color that we have here today it just blends in well with this and it really does look like a baby staria this is the key fob and it is not something extraordinary but its functions are extraordinary, such as the engine remote start. Just hold on to the hold. And the beauty of this one is that you can turn it off and you can just press the lock and you can do it again. That is nice because in some cars, you cannot do it two times in a row, but this one you can. And that's not the only thing you can do with the remote. You can also hold on to the unlock button and the driver's window will go down. Now, it doesn't open the rest of the windows, but still, it is quirky nevertheless. For the GLS models, when you lock and unlock your Stargazer, the side mirror opens and closes automatically. In the Philippines, we do get three variants of the Stargazer, unlike four variants in Indonesia. But what I want to tell you here is that we all get 15-inch rims, although in probably different design for the lowest model. 205, 55, R16s. Disc in front, yes, drum brake at the back. But have you seen anyone complaining about having a drum brake? Not really. It's usually for the aesthetics for me. And the creases here, we don't have plastic claddings. We do have creases here. As you can see in Creta, Tucson, Santa Fe, Palisade, we do have plenty of creases here and there. Very futuristic, very panometric. And this one has that. For its suspension, McPherson in front and torsion beam at the back. So that is the usual setup that we get when you have a 7-seater MPV here in the Philippines. At least uh, Stargazer is on par with those other models. Here, as a driver, having a window here is really important. And usually when we have a window here, the side mirror is usually mounted on the door panel here below the belt line. But this one, it's still here. but this design right here it's very slender it is something that might be found in performance cars so it's there led lights chrome door handles but then we do have smart keyless entry buttons for both 
sides. And that is something that we cannot take for granted. The body color contrasts with black accents here and there. That will be the same in other body colors as well. You see this design right here? It's a huge H. That stands for most probably Hyundai. And these are reflectors here. Three backup sensors that has rear cross traffic alert system as well. It has a camera right here in the middle, right under the G. Wiper, top mount brake light, shark fin antenna in black as well. Now, what's under here is a spare tire. The spare wheel comes in steel wheels and it's not the emergency size. It's the normal size 205.55 R16 just in steel rim. For you to open it, there's a button right under A. Okay, A. Look for A. Then we do have plenty of cargo space here at the back. Lots of cargo space here as well. Third row seat. This is my first time to actually come here on the third row. The nice thing here is that you can adjust this up to here and you can adjust it in plenty of different angles. So even the third row person can relax here at the back. Break, break, left, right, reverse, hazard, high beam, High beam. It also comes with auto high beam. Park light with fog lamp and headlight. Hazard. Just a hazard. And the horn. <laughs> Very quiet. I am 5'10, 5'11, depending on the day. What I like about this Stargazer is you can adjust up and down and telescopic your steering wheel and many people ask is the front driver's seat adjustable in height yes there that's me going down pump it you can also raise it let's raise it all the way up yon now i have commanding view so there is no problem even though you're short you can still look over your hood success my height is 510 and just look this is a second row oh the leather feels great the second row can slide and then you see how much i am reclined yeah it is almost in a business class i'm not kidding i never knew an mpv like this can be comfortable like this here at the back Wow, I can definitely relax here. And it is quite easy to control because these are in manual seats and even the levers, they can easily be adjusted. Success. Look, look at the headroom. The headroom is fantastic. Going to the third row, just use this lever, fold and tumble in one press or, or pull. Get inside. So this one, fully reclined, fully adjusted at the back. Now let me test. There you go. Now that's how much difference there will be if you don't recline it. I can sit here with a bit of bukaka. Bukaka, a bit of split. It is touching my knee, definitely. But as you know, I have adjusted the third row all the way to the back as well. Now, can I sit down all the way to the back and recline? Yes, and my head is not touching. My hair is kind of touching, but it is not touching my head. So it's my hair's fault because it, it's a bit fluffy. But you might actually hit the metal part here in the trunk if the car decides to be bumpy. But wow, there's a 12 volt, cup holders, and some compartments, and huge window here. Ooh, I think it's a success and I can also exit through this side mm -hmm. and also 
this side and easily get out like this. Success. Now I've seen in the videos that it's a bit full in here. Oh no, there are lots of spaces here. Okay. Ow, 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 ow. That's very hot. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> My bad. This is the 1.5 liter smart stream. 1.5 liter mated to IVT, intelligent variable transmission, or simulated seven gears. 113 horsepower and 144 newton meters of torque is more than enough. This is one of the class leading in terms of figures. So we're gonna test it out in the driving segment and I'm gonna try to invite seven people and show you if it can drive well with full load of people. Are you guys okay? <laughs> We're alive. <laughs> We're alive. <laughs> this is the uh, same engine as the Creta, okay? Same engine as the Creta. The weight difference. Now this one will matter because two more people, of course, that's already almost. Let's see in the driving segment. Thank goodness I have the white glove. <laughs> now let me show you the inside. I think the POV style is better. Don't forget to see this. It's like a blind spot warning. There you go. The door, leather and plastic with fake stitching. Speaker here, it's real, I can see the wires. Oh, three bottle holders, speaker as well. Manual seat, but with really nice leather. These are like artificial leather, but still it feels good. This top trim has airbags, side curtains, and also dual airbag in front. The pump, the reclining, and the sliding. Gas cap release, hood release, brake, accelerator, fan for the feet, no airbag, fuse and OBD, steering wheel, telescopic, and can be adjusted all the way you want. Okay. Let me pump down the seat because to clump here okay this is the dashboard okay look at this design here fuzzy different design also here fuzzy this one looks like the nose of a dog the wrinkles the window very far very very far there window this area can be used as well somewhat uh, you can use it as storage area for something also here the steering wheel very common in hyundai models now automatic lighting system with auto high beam and one touch turn signal lane keep assist or lane keep warning so we're gonna test that out in the longer drive volume audio control cruise control computer control and the screen here in digital also in digital with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto with voice memo and many more stuff. The ADAS feature, advanced driver assist system, they are found here. Now, before even I start, I'm going to press the start button. Oh, fantastic, right? So, digital instrument cluster, okay? speedometer and the rev fuel engine temperature odometer many things are here now you can switch and play around to navigate through the screen right here so my guess is only the center is the full digital the others are like you know semi digital like a calculator Something that you can see also in BMW. Driver assistance, press OK. Warning volume, driver attention warning, driving safety, parking safety. So it has a lot of value, a lot of return of investment. As of now, every time you change the drive mode, it will change the color and the theme. But like this one is disabled. Oh, you can change like that if it's disabled. Okay. Okay, more stuff. 
door. Remote window, I have shown you this one only for the driver. The lights, illumination, yeah, we want max. One touch signal, ambient light, brightness. So we're gonna see that ambient light later on. As of now, I only know that we have that in the cup holder. Headlight delay, high beam assist. Convenience. Rear occupant alert just in case you forgot your kid at the back. Wireless charging auto rear wiper in R. Oh, when you do reverse and it's raining, it might just turn on the wiper automatically. I don't like that. Okay, go back. Tire pressure monitoring system. When you start to drive, it's gonna show. And this one with the ADAS and everything. So when you press this, it will show there. Okay, but it needs to be in certain speed for it to engage all right and manual windshield wiper chrome here a bit of compartment here 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 and what's hidden is here like just as my just my phone as a sample the phone actually fits inside so you can just imagine what else you can put in there Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This one comes down ever so quickly. It's not huge, it's quite small, I must say. Wireless charging, this one is something special because it does fast wireless charging and this one has holes in it, right? Perforated. Now, when you remove this a bit, you'll know why. Because it has ventilation. <laughs> yeah. It has ventilation for your device so it will not damage your phone and it will also uh, prevent it from overheating, right? So that is fantastic. 12 volt USB for your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Drive modes, traction on and off. The gear shifter, uh, it is something that uh, I found similar with the CX35. With Steptronic, simulated seven gears. Okay, so right now, drive modes echo, normal, sport, smart. I like putting Hyundai cars in smart, but then when I drive, I like to put it on Steptronic. You see the, the, the number one? It really holds that gear well. And I like this. Every time you shift, you see the animation? Little detail, but it matters because now it's a lot easier for me to know where I can look in case I'm wondering every time I shift. <laughs> now, this is where some people might say, oh, other markets get digital. Why are we not getting the rotary type? Well, I like this. <laughs> I really like this more than the buttons, unless it's super automatic, super automatic digital. But what we would have gotten would be the digital one but not really auto so i like this but i don't like this plastic <laughs> i don't like this one i think you can like customize this put a sticker on it just like what sticker you can put in your cameras that's interesting oh sun visor with a mirror here it's not extending okay very basic halogen light very basic with day and night mode oh we will test out the sound system later okay i like the design of the air vents by the way it is something like the quality that i would see in the casper it's that design that round silver metallic and it's easy to know what to do when you slide it to the right it's locked when it's left it's on this area is just in plastic mm -hmm. also here just in plastic um the microphone, grab handles for everyone, airbag, and also airbag here. The seats, they look a bit perforated, but mm, they're just dotted. They're not real holes. Now, the lights are on, and that's why we can see a bit of the ambient light here for the cup holders. I think I've seen this somewhere, maybe in the Casper. And we can also remove this one just in case you have other huge objects and you can put it back there just for you to have 
better stable cup holder now some people think we should have the brake hold system electronic braking but for the philippine market we'll be having the good old j-turn possible handbrake and that's perfectly fine for me this area really soft the leather although artificial they are nice okay bolstering is also nicely done as well airways so that it can suck in air from here so it can distribute to the people at the back all right so now let me bring you to the back here in the second row same quality of leather although artificial i like having this one mm -hmm. maximum of 3.5 kilogram but sometimes like if you give this to kids i guess uh it might cause more mess <laughs> like if i'm a kid i'll be like that so it's not really angled towards the child if you ask me more for an adult actually so it's even higher than on flight table or foot tray the back seat pouch more pouches different compartments two usb charge ports and this one and then the armrest becomes like this 40 20 40 very european style now what we need here is aircon air vent now this is just a blower until level three so it has four i guess one person has to suffer <laughs> because this is a seven seater by the way but in other countries you can have this in captain chairs as well so then we will not have problem with number of blowers what i like is this area here are soft even here they didn't just do it here they made it until here bottle holder 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 like you have three bottle holders per door okay and then like a cup holder here so do the math three 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 and two more and at the back you do have two more okay and there's one thing i forgot to mention when you are entering your stargazer when you're entering the third row for the stargazer you do also get a handle here so you can actually hold on to this as you get inside the third row so that you will not injure yourself mm -hmm. we can easily change that to led if you don't like it now finally let us drive the stargazer and that's what i think of the hyundai stargazer if you have watched this video until this point thank you for watching without you guys there's no soju cars with that i'll see you in the next video may your dreams come true